Earlier this evening, the body of Shelby Turnbaum, a 25-year-old personal accountant, was recovered from her apartment building after authorities received a call detailing where her body could be found. Peter Knowles, the lead suspect in the case, made the phone call. Knowles is in custody at the local courthouse as authorities are still gathering the facts. We know the two of them met over the popular trading app OfferUp. Turnbaum had contacted Knowles about purchasing his framed Dave Matthews Band poster. We have the transcribed messages for you now. I would like to buy your Dave Matthews Band poster for $15. Sure. Can you pick it up today? Would you do five? You just agreed on 15, 5, 10, K. Can you pick it up today? You can drop it off. Not really. Thought you said in your post you needed it gone by today. What's your address? 5940 Willowcrest. That's like 40 minutes away from me. I need it today. Take it or leave it. I can be there around 510. K. Knowles then traveled to this location only to be greeted with an unexpected development. Here. Here. Hello. Go to 12815 Burbank. Seriously. Outside. Not there yet. Could you grab nails? I'll pay. No. Hello? Got nails. Five more dollars. Take a picture of the receipt. Are you here? 5940 Willowcrest. Shortly after this is when authorities believe Turnbaum let Knowles into her apartment. Turnbaum then enlisted the help of Knowles in hanging the Dave Matthews Band poster. Turnbaum's neighbor, Marjorie McGilligutty, recorded the scene only after hearing extensive banging coming from the walls of Turnbaum's apartment. We have that recording now. McGilligutty said she then watched Knowles exit the premises, sit in his car for roughly five minutes, before returning to Miss Turnbaum's apartment in order to, according to Knowles, apologize for losing his temper. Once back inside the apartment, Turnbaum gave Knowles a two out of five star rating on the app. Then, using a corner of the Dave Matthews Band poster, Knowles, quote, destroyed her head. Back to you now in the studio where Tina has some tips on how to turn your trash into a hat. Flambe!